proven. Today we are going to see the topic that is digestion in humans. So let's start with what is digestion. So digestion is a chemical breakdown of large food molecules into smaller molecules that can be used by cells. As we know that the food eaten is insoluble and it cannot be become a part of body. So the food undergoes many physical and chemical changes so that it can be converted into simple soluble form and these absorbed form are assimilated or you can say these are absorbed in our body for uh, different you can say um, processes to bring about by the body now the breakdown occurs when the certain specific enzymes are mixed with the food these enzymes bring about the chemical changes and the food is properly digested for example the polysaccharide presence in the food is converted into maltose and then into the simple sugar that is glucose proteins is converted into peptides and then into amino acids fats are converted into fatty acids and glycerol so these conversions are brought about by the chemical changes now carbohydrates proteins and lipids are the main you can say nutrients which are found in the food and the process of digestion produce glucose amino acids glycerols and fatty acids so this complex food material is converted into simpler ones that is glucose amino acids glycerol and fatty acids now energy in the glucose is used to produce ATP glucose is a simple sugar which is converted into ATP and this ATP is used as a form of energy and the body uses amino acids to protect to construct proteins okay now glycerol and fatty acids can be converted to pyruvate and acetyl CoA and then enter the cellular respiration as I've told you earlier that fats have con are converted into glycerol and fatty acids so these fatty acids and glycerol are again converted into pyruvate and acetyl alcohol which help in the process of cellular respiration so students digestion start from the mouth okay that means the buccal cavity where mastication or you can say the chewing of the food is the first step in which the complex food stuff are converted into smaller or the complex food stuffs are converted into you can say the smaller particles that mainly involves the mechanical activity of mastication okay now during the breakdown of these uh, large molecules there is massive increase in the surface area of the food and saliva gets mixed with this food the softening of food takes place and there is transformation into size conductive to swelling now what happened again lubrication of food is take place by impregnating it with saliva so what happens students during this process the tongue mixes the food with the saliva secreted by the salivary glands the saliva is secreted by the salivary glands and as the saliva is watery it converts the food into a you can say a paste form okay then what are the enzymes in the mouth first is the salivary amylase this amylase enzyme which is also called as phytalin present in saliva acts as act on starch okay it acts on it acts on starch and this starches get converted into maltose so starch is polysaccharide and maltose is disaccharide so polysaccharide is converted into disaccharides polysaccharide means having more more than one saccharide or you can say sugar next bicarbonate ions in the saliva act as buffers and the ph is between 6.5 to 7.5 now mucins or you can say mucus lubricate and help the whole chewed food together into a clump which is called as bolus now that food is called as bolus the tongue presses against the palate and pushes down the bolus into the pharynx this process is also you can say is called as swallowing or you can say it is also called as deglutination now the tongue contains chemical receptors in the structures called as taste buds if suppose this is our tongue here 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 these are the taste buds where different taste or you can say sore here also there are taste bud presents where it detects you can say whether the food is sweet sour now the tongue is muscular and can move the food okay students so the round food ball called as bolus is formed in which it is then posted in the oesophagus by the action of tongue this process is called as swallowing so students in this session we have seen 
the first part of digestion and for the session we will have a more detailed look regarding the digestion in humans thank you